Creating and completing a project is a hard thing to do, especially if you are working in a team where multiple people are working at one project. As the project goes on, it becomes impossible to write all of the code in only one place. That's why many and many architectures have been made, and MVC is one of them. An architecture is not a piece of code or a library that you need to add to your project. It's a set of instructions that you should follow to have a better and cleaner code. That makes it much easier for multiple people to work on one project. MVC architecture will divide your code to three parts. The first part is controllers, which are responsible for request handling and the logic of the application. The second part are models. The models are responsible for managing the data and accessing to the database. The last part is views which are responsible for creating the HTML page that we are going to show to our user. In this architecture, controllers are like a middleman that gets the request from the user, analyze it, then it will decide what data it should get from the database, send the request to the model, get the related data and pass them to view. So view can fetch that data into a page. Then the view will return the created page to the controller, and the controller send back the created page to the user. Let's say our user will send a request to get a list of cars. Now let's create a scenario to see how it works. The request will go through the controller and the controller will process the request. Does it have any search values? Does it have any sorting? And based on the request, it will get the data from the model, which is connected to the database and can read from the database then the model will return the data to the controller. Now here you can do any kind of process that you want on the data. For example, if you want to add the tax price on the original price, you will do it here inside the controller. Then you will pass this process data to the view. The view will create a presentation page that can be HTML, CSS, or it could be a XAML file based on the application that you are working on. Then the view pass this page to the controller and the controller will return the result to the user. You should not have any connection between your models and your views. Any kind of interaction should be go through the controller. Now in the next video we are going to create an MVC project using .NET Core and see how our code will work inside an MVC architecture. You can support me to create more videos like this by liking the video just for the algorithm that the video will get suggested to more people. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.